All right, so this is just gonna be a quick video. Broke a rear axle somehow while it was at the dealership, <laughs> getting the steering bushings replaced and I uh, had them put heated grips on. You can see that. Heated grips, heated thumb. And new steering bushings, so the steering is tight once again. Broke this diff on this side. That strap is just there to hold the axle level while uh, I punched it out from this side. So I also noticed I got to do this diff seal here in the rear. Um, so I already ordered that. That's not going to be here till the end of the week. I can ride it this weekend without it causing too many issues. But so what I did was I took this side axle out and uh, just punched that inner cup out. So just made it a little easier because I didn't want to ruin the boot and use the ham the slide hammer. So now I still have this boot that I can reuse. Let's see, that's the brake. That's a good one. I was hoping it just came out of the cage inside and I could uh, put it back in, but not, not so lucky. So what we got here is an East Lake axle that I ordered. Um, I ordered it and two days later, sitting on my doorstep. So that's awesome. East Lake, uh, just send it right out. And this is an axle that my dealer gave me for half price because somehow the axle broke while it was in their possession. And I was not having it with them trying to say that I brought it there with a broken axle because it definitely wasn't broken when I brought it there. Um, so whatever, however it happened, I got this axle for 70 bucks. Normally they're around 150 or so. So... This is the comparison. East Lake, the stock good one, and the, the All Balls 8 Ball Extreme Duty. So you can see the All Balls one is just a little bit longer. which is good. It's also quite a bit heavier. And then this, the stock and the East Lake are about the same weight. You know, I'm not going to put it on a scale. It's like 10 degrees outside right now. And not the best conditions to be working outside in your wheeler. This all balls, eight ball, I was always skeptical of all balls stuff. Um, this axle seems pretty good though, pretty good quality. Get the angle of that. It's quite a bit more angle you can get out of this. Let's see, I don't know if I can going to be able to show you or not but that's all I can get out of the stock one that's the all balls and the East Lake the East Lake has more flex in it than the stock one does also um, so the East Lake seems like a decent axle it seems more on par definitely uh, with the stock axle than the 8 ball extreme so I mean uh, for a visual inspection uh, standpoint you know I'd give these a try on the rears at least I've got uh, I wasn't originally going to go with all balls axles I was going to go with Rhino 2.0s for the rear, 
Um, I don't think I ever showed you guys this, but I got gorillas in the front. Put gorilla axles in the front, and I also did the uh, the Checo pinion plate. I think that's it for upgrades that uh, that I haven't made a video on. Replaced a, a ball joint. I think that's it. So we got Gorillas, Checo, pinion plate, and now. Uh, one of the rear axles is going to be the all balls. I might just get another one for the other side and then have the East Lake for a spare. I'm assuming the, the stock one's going to break before this one does. I mean, we'll see. This one's in good shape still. There's no play in it. So it seems pretty good. So I shouldn't have any issues that I know of, that I can tell, with this one, anyway. Um, see how much longer this one lasts. I was pushing 35s for a little bit. I got the stock Outlaws on it now. So that's, it should like that a little better. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, just a little update and uh, visual comparison, some different axles here. I should do it for this video. I didn't want to take too much, too much time. But there you go. Uh, tomorrow we should have some more footage, some uh, frozen swamp footage for you. So you know, be on the lookout for that. Thanks.